Gargoyle's Garden, written by Pat Simmons. Gargoyle's heart ached with loneliness. Sitting on top of a building with only pesky, pecky pigeons to talk to was no fun at all. All his life, Gargoyle had gazed down at the trees, watching as their leaves changed with the seasons. Flowers were just coloured dots that could never be smelled or touched. Until one magical night, the moon smiled down at Gargoyle and whispered, Go, Gargoyle, go. Gargoyle tested his stony bones. He stretched out his stony fingers and tapped his stony toes. Slowly, cautiously, Gargoyle climbed down from the building. Leaves crackled and crunched under his feet. He loved the sound they made. He grinned a gargoyle grin and set off to find a friendly garden. The first garden Gargoyle discovered had a neatly mown lawn, flowers tucked into beds and a fish pond surrounded by... Friends? Gargoyle was excited. Can I live here? He asked in his growly voice. Sorry, gnomes only, the voice replied. You're too big and too loud. Besides, you don't have a pointy hat. I could make one, Gargoyle suggested. No, off you go. Bowing his head, Gargoyle crept away through the hedge. Gargoyle found himself surrounded by twinkling lights and tiny toadstools. His eyes lit up. Can I live here? he asked, trying not to growl. The fairies huddled together. Absolutely not. You look scary and you're not sparkly. Besides, you don't have a wand. I could make one, Gargoyle suggested. Shoo, we don't want you. Gargoyle sighed and scrambled over the fence. He landed in a yard of yowling, howling moggies. This looks interesting, he thought. Can I live here? Gargoyle asked. Scat, you're not a cat, the moggies hissed. You don't have fur or whiskers. Gargoyle stamped his foot. The ground trembled. I don't have a pointy hat, I don't have a wand, and I don't have fur or whiskers. I don't fit in anywhere. For the first time ever, tears dripped from Gargoyle's <laughs> eyes. He curled up in a stony ball. Up here, called a voice. Gargoyle dried his eyes. He gazed up, up, up. Gargoyle tested his stony bones. He stretched his stony fingers. He tapped his stony toes. Slowly, cautiously, Gargoyle climbed up the wobbly wall and onto the roof. He couldn't believe his eyes. A gargoyle grin just like his. Wings, long toes and pointed ears, just like his. The moon beamed. Have fun, Gargoyle. Rain fell in delicious drops. The friends caught the water, gurgling and giggling. They had the best water fight ever. <laughs>